welcome to my channel. In today's episode, I'm so excited to share with you the concert we are going to play in Boston Symphony Hall. It has a really good orchestra based on their Boston Symphony Orchestra, and also the acoustics are really good. I've been there to listen to Boston Symphony Orchestra's play. It's actually a perk of being a student in Boston, because if you are studying here, chances are you can ask for a free ticket just because you have a college card. Take a get. The reason why I'm so excited for this concert are, first of all, the concert hall is good. And second one is, I'm so lucky to be assigned to play Ride of Spring by Stravinsky. It's a piece that I've been listening to since I was in elementary school. It's a piece that requires a lot of abilities. For example, you have to count the rhythm really precisely. If you are a string player, you really have to know how to produce sound. Because in that piece, it might require some like brutal sound. But for brutal, it doesn't mean pressing the pressure on your violin. You have to know how your bow can contact your string. So it's not a piece that any level of players can play. That's why I'm so excited because it's like I've been building up my abilities. And today I can finally play this piece. Our conductor is a really cool conductor. He can tell a joke without planning it. He's born with this. <laughs> so the rehearsal is actually full of humorous jokes, which is good. You don't want your orchestra being like military. <laughs> that reminds me once Michael Stern said, a good conductor will create an environment that everyone is comfortable to play music. I do believe Maestro Tovi is a really good conductor, and that's the third reason I'm so excited for this concert. I invited so many people that Facebook actually blocked me. I'm not sure how much could I record in this episode because in our rehearsal, actually we're not allowed to use any electronic devices. But tonight is our um, last rehearsal in school. It's Friday night, we're not going anywhere but going to the rehearsal so you know how much we devoted to this concert. I really wish you guys can come, but if you can, you can still watch the stream live on Facebook. Oh, wait. If you guys see this video, the concert is already passed. Why am I still promoting this? I'm now walking to our rehearsal space. You know, I think I'm going to go to the街头。I always like hide it and like I turn it off. That's so weird.
Which one? This side has a small bar. Let's have some tea. I have a cup of coffee. Ta da! It's my vlog. Say hi, say hi, guys. Today the weather is really cold. I hope the audience won't come. She has cheekbones. I don't have cheekbones. So Jade is now helping me with my hair because it's so flat. This is what I used to do to my hair. Thank you, Jade. Of course. We're going to on stage now and we choose a seat that we can totally see Jay. Did you take her? Yeah. Oh, it's on Snapchat.
the concert has ended. 首先，先就表演来说，我觉得今天晚上的表演并没有到很完美，但是在整个过程当中，我每一刻都很享受。结束之后，跟朋友一起去吃点东西，然后聊一下天，我觉得非常的满足。Where's that for this? 然后我有很多的朋友都来了。我觉得一直以来让我邀请大家来音乐会的出发点，现在已经调整好，就不是我去求人家来赏脸，而是我真实的相信我在做的这件事情，它是对人有帮助的。我去邀请人，我就不觉得我是在求人家什么，而是我想要分享一个东西。但是我至时至今日还是会觉得。当我要请别人播出时间来做我邀请他们做的事情，我还是会觉得难为情。你们给我的就是 feedback， 我收到真的是心很暖。大家去当音乐会的观众，如果你真的有什么感觉，真的不要吝啬去跟演出者分享，真的是给我们很大的动力。当我们知道，呃，台下坐着人他们是活生生的，他们有感情，他们有感动的时候，对于演出者来说，真的很大的动力。OK， let's call it a day. Have a good night.